Hello and welcome to another episode of Pint Time with Backpacker Mike and I'm going to be trying the Schilling Hard Cider Moonberries. Comes in at 5.2% uh, on the Richter scale there. Uh, this says, welcome to the Legends of C Cider Series, our tribute to the creative and curious craft of cider making. <clears throat> Indulge fellow legend in this crushable cider, bursting with juicy blackberries and tart blueberries. This cider is guaranteed to put you on cloud nine. That's right. It says unicorn sparkles and moonbeams. Uh, not guaranteed. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, this sounds like a very uh, tasty cider and uh, shilling cidery uh, is out of Auburn, Washington. Auburn, Washington. I've had a bunch of their ciders and they're really good. So I would assume that this is not going to let me down. <clears throat> but first, let's get into episode 226, the longer version of the show over on Instagram right after this and then Facebook after that. Uh, if you're not following me on there, give me a follow on there. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's get into the first one, which is the best U.S. cities for beer vacations, basically beercations. Um, I'm going to get right into one here, and that is Tampa, Florida, right on the West Coast, about two hours west of me. Absolutely love Tampa and the surrounding areas, Clearwater, St. Pete, uh, Dun Dunedin, uh, Ybor City. Like, There's so many different places over there uh, that have some amazing breweries. Um, with plenty of sun and fun and hot weather, I mean, you know, you get you get thirsty and uh, and you can go hit the beach after you hit a couple craft breweries. Uh, take in uh, brewery tours, craft beer festivals. There's always craft beer festivals over there uh, all the time uh, and more. With great breweries like Tampa Bay Brewing Company, which is one of the largest craft breweries over there. They go by TBBC if you find them in your store. They do some pretty great beers. Cigar City Brewing uh, Cigar City Cidery is another one. Copper Tail Brewing is another one that is amazing I've had on the show. Uh, Three Daughters Brewing I've had on the show. Amazing beers. Green Bench I've had on the show. Cycle uh, Cycle Brewing I've had on the show. Like I've had so many Florida craft brews. It's amazing and I absolutely love them. So um, you have a rather large uh, selection of craft beers uh, and cideries uh, here in Florida to choose from and especially in and around uh, the Tampa Bay area there. So let's give this shilling hard cider moonberries a try. Blackberries and blueberries. This ought to be really tasty. Definitely do get some of the berries on the nose, and it actually is overpowering the apple smell on the nose. So that's uh, that's encouraging. All right, let's see. Cheers, pro slancha, and a skull for my Nordic friends. You know who you are. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that is so, that is so good, that is so, that is so good, you literally get like all of the blueberry <clears throat> and the blackberry like up front, and you get a bit of that, <clears throat> that tart um, sort of finish with a little bit of apple <clears throat> uh, flavor in the back of the palate absolutely absolutely delicious this thing is knock it out of the park good <clears throat> they always have some good ciders if you haven't tried shilling ciders yet you definitely got to give them a shot let's do a hard pull for you guys look at that it's all nice and purple just a little swig there just a... oh boy wow and the hard pour actually brings out more of the dense berry flavor. Absolutely nails it. Knocks it out of the park, man. Shilling, you guys made another amazing cider. I have another shilling cider to try for you guys as well. It's a rhubarb one, and I imagine it's going to be off, out of this world. But this one is amazing. Got to go at 10. Shilling's hard cider. You guys are amazing. Oh, my God. You guys make some great ciders. <laughs> man. I'm going to enjoy that one over on Instagram after this. And as always, peace, love, and let's continue to experience this beautiful world together. And I'll see you guys next time on Pie Time with Backpacker Mike.